It's Nerdy Doll Girl again here. So I have a new BJD tag that I have created. It's called the BJD Relationship Tag. I hope you guys like it and hopefully you guys will make a video in response with your answers to my questions. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one that I have is, do your dolls have significant others? So, so far I only have one um, you know, couple that is definitely a couple. And that is my Fairyland Chloe and my Fairyland um, uh, Luca. So, first of all, obviously, it's Fairyland Luca, tanned, skinned. Um, and her name is Nevea. And her beautiful girlfriend is my Chloe uh, Normal Skin. And her name is Suki. So they have been together for probably five years and I am actually going to be starting their storyline uh, soon and I actually want to, um, you know, make, make their storyline fit with the new uh, doll that, my, well, I have the body, he's over there. But I don't have his head yet. Um, my new soul doll, Sean, that hopefully will be coming soon. Uh, I want to make a really cool story about them and uh, especially how they met and everything. But right now I don't have it in stone. So I'll have to tell you guys when I know exactly what I'm going to be doing and everything. So I will definitely have a new video for that. So yeah, they're the only couple that I have at the moment. Now, I also have significant others, um, more of like a best friend, more than necessarily, you know, a ro romantic relationship. Uh, and that would be with my Delphi Dream, Mayu, uh, Emily, and my Delphi Dream, 06. Uh, Harley. So these two are best friends and uh, so th that's that's kind of their relationship. They really have to be um, together or they get really sad because they just love each other. They're they're literally best friends. Um, so that that's the other kind of significant relationship uh, that, that I have. Now of course all of them, um, all of the vinyl uh, larger dolls that I have, they all are friends and they kind of hang out in a group, but those are the significant um, relationships for them. I think I've said significant or something on your first times. I apologize. Um, so do your dolls have a storyline that includes any of your other dolls? So right now, again, it's just, Suki and Nevea that's their relationship is the only one that really has a storyline to it but I plan on adding to that storyline in the future um so yeah at the, this moment just those two uh what I what you know what I can't wait I'm just gonna tell you guys okay so I'm thinking of I've been reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and I've just really connected with it. I read the first book, and I'm on the second book. And, you know, growing up being teased and being weird and, and awkward and all sorts of stuff, which I really don't think I've gotten over. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten over it. I really have been drawn to that storyline and, and really felt connected to it. So I'm going to be making at least my MSDs part of like Miss Peregrine's home for the peculiar children, but they're going to have different umbres, umbres, I think it's called, uh, and they're going to have a different timeline. So that is actually going to be where they have met. And I'll, you know, tell you guys more and about their powers when I have a chance to get it all down. Um, <laughs> Do, do your dolls have a nemesis? Well, with regards to my 
MSDs in the Miss Peregrine universe, they are definitely going to have um, the hollows after them. They are going to be kind of running from that as similar to the story. And I might actually make another a less scary nemesis, but more like, you know, they bump heads nemesis um, for my, my male doll. All right, so number four, uh, what is your doll's personality? So personalities. I have so many dolls. Well, I don't, maybe so many, but I have a lot of dolls. So I have a lot of personalities to, to think about, but I find, you know, some of them, they automatically make you feel like you know their story. And then other ones, you kind of have to kind of feel them out. For Emily here, she's going to fall backwards on me. She's smart and silly and very nerdy and geeky. She loves, you know, sci-fi and she's just, she's really, you know, fun to be around. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, she's not necessarily everybody's cup of tea. And then Harley is artistic and thoughtful and she's she kind of, um, you know, the, her and Emily are best friends because they both are sensitive souls and they kind of feel like they're, you know, not soulmates, more so like old souls that, that have found each other. And that's why they're so close. And then Bowie is kind of, he's laid back and he's uh, funny, really funny. Nevea is very um, easygoing, laid back. I have a lot of laid back dolls because personally I am not laid back. So my dolls kind of are laid back for me, or at least some of them. And then um, Suki is, is very shy and she's actually really uncomfortable being so different and having um, a pe pe peculiarity about her. Um, whereas Nevaeh is like, whatevs, you know, if you guys don't like me, I really don't care. So that's partly why I think Suki, uh, you know, loves her so much is because of her strong personality and her strong sense of who she is. Um, and Riley, I, I, I'll get into that. Okay, so do you, number five, do you feel that your collection is complete in terms of storyline that certain characters have? If not, who else do you plan on getting? So no, I don't. I definitely want to get more dolls, um, especially with my new idea of the, um, the peculiar home. I want to get some, you know, different dolls that, that would fit in there, different colored dolls, you know, ones with different, um, you know, like it'd be cool to have like with horns and stuff like that. So yeah, it's it, I'm still working on it. But how can we ever say that we have enough dolls, really? Okay, so number six. Which, if any of our dolls, do you find was the hardest to make up a storyline for? And that would have to be Riley. It's really hard. I love her so much. She was the one of the first dolls that I opened the box and I automatic, automatically fell in love with him. Whereas with that, I found it's very hard to pinpoint what I want for her in terms of, of a personality and her storyline. I'm even struggling with her name, which is hard. My daughter named her and I just, every time I write it down, you know, when I'm making a post or something, I really just don't necessarily feel like she's a Raleigh, but I'm weird. I feel guilty to change the name because, I don't know, I feel bad. I'm weird. <laughs> okay. Have you, okay, ha, does your significant other, number seven, have, or family members collect dolls or some other collection? 
So my husband does not collect dolls. He um, he collects. He used to do Warhammer. Now he does um, D and D mostly and play video games and stuff like that. So his oh and he has a collection of Transformers and Power Ranger uh, items. Um, so he does not collect dolls, but he has that. My my kids. My daughter loves dolls and she wants to get a smart doll so we're we're seeing how we're gonna figure that out we're just gonna sell a lot of stuff to find a way to get it um but she has monster highs she has soon zooms soon zooms however you pronounce it darwin and my my son if it has wheels that's all that really matters so he has a huge amount of cars a lot of um uh, matchbox uh Hot, hot Wheels and stuff, so that's what he kind of collects. But they all appreciate my dolls, which is really nice. Number eight, have you converted anyone into collecting dolls? Yes. So I can name at least two, maybe three. So obviously Tammy from Tam Tam C. Hi, sweetie. Um, I converted her to, you know, to start collecting dolls and... Um, She's really got on board with it, and it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Um, my friend Colleen and I started helping her get into uh, collecting Monster Highs, so she's been doing that. Uh, Tiffany, I think, I think she's kind of like Tammy. She loved dolls, but she needed someone to be like, you know what? Collecting dolls is okay. You don't have to be a kid. It's fun. Um, now, you know, tell me if I'm wrong, Tiffy, but I, I definitely think that's kind of the thing that most people don't realize is that sometimes you need to be told it's okay to, to collect dolls. It's okay to have fun. Okay. <clears throat> Who, nine, number nine, who of your dolls based on their personalities do you feel the most compatible with? I would have to say either Nevea or Bowie because they, again, I said, are laid back, easygoing, funny. And that's, you know, pretty much my husband in a nutshell. Um, whereas I am not laid back. I am anxious and, you know, emotional and um, intense. I've been told I'm intense. So um, I definitely would have to say that they are the ones that I would be the most compatible with without, you know, killing each other because we're so similar. <laughs> so number 10, do, have you based any of your dolls on someone you know personally? Yes. So Bowie is based partly on my husband and his personality, like I said, and also uh, David Bowie. Um, so he's a bit of a rocker. So, uh, so those two, you know, com combined and made Bowie. Um, but nobody else is, is necessarily based on somebody else. Maybe a little bit of Nivea is like my daughter because my daughter is like my hero. She's so amazing and fun and cool. And I just think she's, oh, my kids are just the best. Both my kids and my husband, they're all my heroes. They're just amazing. And I could go on and on. But then I wouldn't have any more time left on my video. <laughs> the last question, if you could date any doll, whether owned or not, who would it be? So there are so many amazing dolls. Now, where did I put my phone? Oh, good Lord. I'm going to pause the video one second. Sorry, guys. I made it through the entire video without making too bad of mistakes but then I did end up losing my phone but anyways let's get back to it so if I could date any doll well there are so many freaking amazing gorgeous dolls out there that it is very hard to choose but at this moment I am drooling over um a dragon doll Zobine Zobi I I looked it up on Google Translate and even listened to how it was pronounced and now I forgot but anyways this is him he's just stunning and so I'm drooling over him uh, what oh okay so yeah that is who I uh, would would want to date if I was dating at all 
so thank you guys so much for staying with me and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and especially my Facebook page and my Instagram because right now I am actually having a contest that if you like, share, and post my picture, you have a chance for two separate um, chances to win, one on Instagram and one on Facebook, that if you like, share, and um, subscribe and, and post these pictures, you could win one of my one-of-a-kind or limited uh, wreaths that I hand make for your dolls, okay? So please go check those out. And also, if you are interested in looking at my Patreon, it'd be awesome. Um, if you guys don't know what it is, it's just uh, every video or something you can... If you're interested, you can donate a dollar or something for every video. And it just kind of helps um, your YouTube personality, <laughs> I think that's what it's called, to, um, you know, bring you better content and, and more things um, to make a better, better video. So, yeah, I'm not a big person to push on things. I'm just mentioning it for you guys to know what it is. All right. So anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I feel very lucky. I've made so many wonderful, wonderful friends on here already. And I'm trying not to get emotional, um, which is hard. Um, but I love you guys. And I really appreciate that you are following me and, and commenting and, and, you know, putting your yourself out there to make me see that I'm not alone in this in this hobby okay so thank you guys so much and I will talk to you guys later okay bye